The Nigerian Senate has directed uh, the police and Department of State Services to officials uh, those who plotted, aided and abated the hijacking of its maze and bring them to book. Uh, they appear before the Senate next week. Meantime, the clerk of the National Assembly, Sani Omolori, received the maze on behalf of the Senate at the National Assembly complex in Abuja. Chuka Odita has the rest of the story. <laughs> Addressing lawmakers after a closed door session Thursday, Deputy Senate President Ike Kuremadu, who presided over plenary, summoned the Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris, to brief the upper chamber next week on the outcome of their investigation into hijack of the maze and its mastermind. Kuremadu describes the act as international embarrassment that must not be swept under the carpet. He says the Senate will do everything possible to punish all those who partook in the Wednesday invasion. For formally confirmed to you, my distinguished colleagues, that the mess has been recovered and returned by the police as demanded by the Senate chambers. Nevertheless, we believe there should be consequences for bad behavior. We swore to uphold the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the principles of democracy. It still beats the imagination of Nigerians and the civilized world that the attackers pass through the several security checks and barriers into the National Assembly and in the recess of these chambers and also escaped with the mess into the thin air, despite the well-known fortified surroundings of this parliament. The Deputy Senate President also confirmed the return of a maze, which was carted away by hoodlums, accompanied by suspended Delta Central Senator Ovi Onwagege. The maze was delivered by Deputy Inspector General of Police in charge of operations, Joshua Kabila, who led a team of top-ranking police officers to the National Assembly to return the maze. Chuka Odita. Core TV News, Abuja.